And after the last three years living through the imaginary pandemic, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but I'm going to, the imaginary yeah. pandemic and all the other garbage, people are genuinely... Tell me what you mean by that. I mean by the fact that I'm not saying that COVID does not exist as a disease. I'm saying that when you control the semantics of situations and control the language, then you get to control how people react to them. If you say pandemic on repeat on the news, then people start saying pandemic. But as a whole, and I ask you this as a genuine question, did you see a pandemic? Not did you see people in masks, because people wore masks, fine. You saw the news. Yeah, everyone saw the news. But did you see with your own eyes a pandemic? Did you see people collapsing in the street? Did you see hospitals overrun? Did you see ambulances running back and forth? No, you did not. You did not I see a pandemic. a pandemic of disinformation coming from the mainstream media. And I think people are waking up to it. But I also actually feel very sorry for folk who still feel frightened because you've still got the New York Times. You've still got the independent newspaper. You've still got the gun. You've still got CNN pushing a narrative of fear. But this shows how this shows how important it is for them to teach us to ignore our own eyes. Because you don't see a pandemic, but you still walk around and talk about a pandemic. Once they can ignore you, once they can convince you to ignore your own senses, then the slavery is complete. They no longer need to actually change reality. They can just tell you the sky is green and you will sit and you will comply. And that's what they're scared of. They're scared of people like me inspiring people to actually stand up and say, no, I don't see that. And I disagree with it. And my cancellation came at a point where people have lost a lot of faith in traditional media mechanisms. They've lost faith in traditional social media platforms. These so they might have helped you well, absolutely, because people have sat and realized they've been lied to and they're cons consistently being lied to. And if you want new information and the truth, or even if you just want a different point of view to come to your own conclusions based on polarizing viewpoints, you're going to have to go to different places. And that's why their attempt to cancel me has failed. And people will seek me out wherever I go on the Internet because they know I speak the truth. People who have just heard of you through the mainstream media, though, would say you are racist, you are sexist, you are misogynist. Yeah, of course they would. Yeah. And that's the thing that's so crazy. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, they call me racist. I'm mixed race with, of, uh, to begin with. And yeah, it's weaponized virtue. If you have any kind of opinion on anything, you're going to have a degree of the population who's upset with your opinion. It doesn't matter if your opinion is the earth is round. There's people who out there who believe the earth is flat mm -hmm. and they're going to be genuinely upset with you. So once the mainstream media decides that you are a dangerous person because you inspire people to think, they're going to come along and they're going to weaponize virtue. They're going to choose a buzzword, racism, homophobic, misogyny, some buzzword that you can't argue against. They're going to take it. They're going to slap it on you. They're going to whip it up in the media machine and try and convince the world that you're somehow a dangerous person and you're a bad person and your ideas should be ignored. And they failed with me absolutely and utterly. And people are starting to realize that they simply lie. And now you're back on Twitter. You, you were telling me you left the platform when you were first banned with 88,000 followers. How many do you have after a couple of weeks? Yeah, I've been back two weeks now. I have 2.9 million, I think. So, uh, and, and Is that down to Elon Musk? Was he the person who let you back on? Yeah, and Elon is truly a hero of free speech, and he understands we're entering, we were entering a draconian age of genuine... It was genuinely scary where we were heading, and now I start to feel like there's some hope. We're putting a crack in the matrix and a crack in the dam, and I think a lot of people are fed up with having ideas forced down their throat. But it's important that we stand up and talk about these things because it's happening on every level, even from the World Cup to this pandemic to ignoring the, the imaginary race card and Netflix documentaries. There are so many people not pointing out obvious things in the world that it's, it's getting pretty scary to live in this false reality.